Hi everybody, my name is Bozidi. I am uh, one of the instructors on campus and actually I want to share with you the approach that I have in terms of my uh, online uh, delivery. This is for the pre-recorded sessions. This is not for the live sessions that I do on uh, Canvas. The live sessions on Canvas are recorded on Canvas and students have access to that recording later on depending on the setting I make or depending on the setting that you decide on doing. What I'm using in here, the reason why I want to present this one is in lieu of, uh, of, uh, of uh, chalk or uh, marker and the whiteboard, I have, uh, we have something called OneNote, which is part of the Microsoft Office Suite. This is a nice tool that you can use for your presentations because it takes different kinds of input and you can write anywhere and everywhere. So, right now you don't see what I'm going to do in here. I'm going to go to the top and that's what you would do. You go to the top of the tool and then you change your input right now i'm in the draw mode in the draw mode you pick up your pen and basically start writing as if you're writing normally what you need is the first thing you need is a window scan machine i don't know honestly how you would do it in a, in a, in a mac or some other uh, operating system but in the windows 10 all you have to do is uh, uh, first, open the program you want. So if I'm using OneNote, I have to open first OneNote and set it before I start recording. Then, after well, the program is up and running, then I have to go into this key that looks like it's a Windows, actually it's called the Windows key, and at the same time, the letter G. It's going to pop up a, 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 an Xbox recorder, which you're going to turn on and start recording. From that point on, everything you put is going to be saved as a video which you can later on upload on Canvas or, how, or YouTube or wherever you want to share it with your students. The way I am writing right now is actually with my finger because my, the screen of this computer is a touch screen. So if you have access to a touch screen, that's actually, for me, it's very, very convenient. It's much easier than if I have to type it manually. Let me show you if I'm going to type it manually what I'm going to do. I'm going to use the mouse click anywhere and start typing as if I'm typing things normally. You can set this font uh, to default a different size, but uh, this is a text in a box. So if I want to enter that. Now, if I don't like the font size, all I have to do is select it. There is some, uh, some uh, about four dots in here that you can click on and change the size. You don't see these things because as part of the recording, but uh, uh, if you're, uh, I mean, the end user is not going to see what you're doing in here, but you're changing the text as if you're normally doing it on a, on a, on a, uh, on a, on a uh, regular uh, office uh, program like Word or Excel or whatever you want, whatever you're used to. And that's the nice thing about this program, it works the same thing. Now, if you want to enter a mathematical equation in the menu, there is a button called Mathematics, and then you hit the equation, and there you start typing your equation. So I want to enter, for example, uh, the famous equation f equals to ma for my classes. So I'm going to do and then prepare the vector and write that this is actually a vector, and uh, write the vector in here, this is f equals to again mass times and uh, if i am going to enter another vector so i have to input the vector for it and then the acceleration so again i can do if you type fast enough you should not have a problem you should be able to do this i find it much easier for me actually to uh, instead of typing to actually draw things so if i want to do the same thing for example the one i did in here all i have to do is i can write it by hand and say so this is the force equals to mass times acceleration as I am talking and writing. This is, I find it much, much easier. So there are different ways of inputting in here the information into a box like this one, either through a, a normal text box, I mean the way that we normally enter text, or through the screen. And the reason why I'm presenting this one is because actually what I find is the more powerful about this program is, uh, is uh, is the uh, is the fact that you can enter it anywhere and everywhere as if you're writing on the whiteboard of course this thing can grow whichever place you want to so you can move the screen whichever you want to and start typing and writing your uh, all of your uh, all of your commands and notes for the classroom so in this case for example i want to find 
the flux of the electric field. I have an E field in here somewhere, and I can actually change colors as much as I want to. And I want to find the flux of the electric field in this area. So just to show that this is a this is let's close it. Let's make it a closed surface in here and find the flux the normally the way we do it, as if we're doing uh, Gauss's law for physics for a physics two course. So basically, you can do all. That's basically the whole point in here. You can do all of your instructions. Find it very convenient. This is short of having to go and get some whiteboard and a camera and start recording. You have everything on your computer. You don't need a camera, actually. The computer starts recording for you, and you don't need a uh, whiteboard or a blackboard and uh, things like that to write about. I hope you find this one useful. And uh, this was actually, I, I thought about this one after I received an email from. Uh, from the school saying that there are some materials available for us to teach from. If you don't have access to some uh, tools like this one, of course, do use it. If not, we're just doing our best right now, transitioning, uh, doing the transition toward the new, a new, new, uh, basically way of uh, delivering our normal classes the way that we normally do. Good luck.